Hi, in this video, I'd like to talk to you about Microsoft Expression Web add-ins. Uh, I'd like to show you what they are, uh, how to install them, and talk to you about how to get them from WebAssist. So what is an add-in? An add-in is a, a plugin to Microsoft Expression Web that adds features and functionalities to the base product. It can make it easier for you and faster for you to create functionality like uh, new pages, uh, working with CSS, or working with server-side code like PHP. Add-ins are really great because it makes it faster, more repeatable, and less expensive for you to build a fully functional and standards compliant website. Now here at WebAssist, we've been creating uh, plugins for the Dreamweaver platform for about 10 years. And we're really excited with this latest release of Expression Web uh, that the extensibility model and the extensibility later has been very uh, well built out so that it will be easier for us to port over all of our existing extensions into the Microsoft world. We've worked pretty closely with the uh, Expression Web team to make sure that the extensibility layer supports all the features that we need. We're excited to see what they've done in this latest version of Expression Web, and we're looking forward to bringing all of our products over to uh, Expression Web users. So let me switch over to Expression Web and show you how to install an add-in. Um, I have Expression Web 4 open here, and I will go to the Tools, Add-ins menu, and you can see here you can manage your add-ins, and I will click install, and I'll browse to my add-in file, and you'll notice that add-ins uh, have the file extension .xadd uh, for expression add-in, and I'll click open. And it's finished installing. See how fast it was. Um, you can see a little description of it. Um, and you can also choose to auto start it when Expression Web loads or not. And I'll just click yes. And as you can see here, uh, my add-in has been installed and has been enabled for every time uh, when I restart Expression Web, uh, it'll be available. Click OK. So that's uh, how easy it is to install an add-in. So if I want to uninstall an add-in, I would go to the same menu, Tools, Add-ins, and I can click the Remove button. Let me cancel out of here. Okay, so now that I've installed uh, my first add-in, uh, I want to show you what an add-in, uh, an example of what an add-in uh, can help me do. Uh, so I installed the Payment Buttons for PayPal add-in, which allows me to quickly and easily add PayPal payment buttons to a web page that I'm creating so that I can accept payments. So you can access add-ins by going to various locations in the menu. The add-in will actually add itself to the uh, default uh, menu system for Expression Web. So in this case, we're under the Panels, Payment Buttons for PayPal. And what you'll see here is that it opens up a floating panel. Now, add-ins can have floating panels, uh, modal command dialogs. It can do, uh, they can do a bunch of things. Uh, in this case, uh, what this add-in does is it allows me to uh, manage, create, and edit payment buttons that are then stored on PayPal system so that they're more secure. Um, so I have a bunch of uh, buttons that I've already made under my account. Um, I can click on one of them. And you can see that the image of the button, um, as well as some of the uh, parameters, are shown. And I can click the Add to Page. And what you'll notice is that now my button has been added to the page. Um, so I didn't have to know any of the code that was necessary to create this. The add-in added all of this code for me to my page. And if I browse this page, Here's the page that I just created in the browser, and I'll test it out. I click the Buy Now button, and I get redirected to PayPal, uh, where I can complete the purchase. And you can see here that the item name and the price is what the button was set uh, in the user interface. So not only can I add uh, existing buttons to uh, my page, I can create new buttons. And I click the Create New button here. And what you'll see here is a wizard uh, to help you create a new button. And most of our add-ins will be wizard-driven so that it'll walk you through all the steps that you'll need to go through to get a piece of functionality to work for you. So it makes it really nice and easy for uh, 
know folks that are new or uh, aren't quite as comfortable with creating a certain piece of technology. You'll also notice that there are help links on all of our user interfaces so that you can read uh, the in-product help. Um, we also give free technical support for all of our add-ins. Um, you just go to uh, our website, www.webassist.com slash support, um, where members of our community are always answering questions, and we also have a dedicated staff that helps you uh, with any questions that you may have. Um, the other uh, part of our add-ins is that all of our add-ins will come with a developer license, which means that uh, you can just uh, either download a single copy or purchase a single copy and you'll be able to create as many websites as you want uh, with that single license. So that's great so that you only have to buy once and uh, you have unlimited usage, basically. So that's pretty much it for a quick walkthrough of our uh, support for Microsoft Expression Web Add-ins. Um, we are working right now to port over our product line uh, to support Expression Web. Uh, if you check our website, uh, you'll see a section devoted to Expression Web, and we'll put up a roadmap uh, so that you can see when you can expect to see more functionality. In the meantime, you can also take a look at our pre-built PHP solutions, since Expression Web uh, supports PHP. Um, these are pre-built with our add-ins, uh, and they are pre-built PHP websites that have all the functionality already built for you. You just upload the files to your web server, uh, do a little configuration, and you have a fully functional uh, application ready to go. Um, so in the meantime, you can use these products, uh, but we'll be launching uh, more add-ins uh, in the near future. Okay, well that pretty much does it for a quick introduction to Expression Web add-ins and our support and roadmap for them uh, at WebAssist. Hope uh, this uh, movie was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.